modeling ideal student behavior. Good morning, Cougars. I'm Michael, and this is the Campus News. Prom and detentions. If you owe one, you can't go. Students attending prom, make sure you have served all your detentions before prom, or you will be turned away. Hey, Cougars, it's getting closer to prom. Have you decided to go and don't yet have a dress? Don't forget, Say Yes to a Prom Dress has another dress giveaway coming up on Sunday, March 31st from 4 to 7 at Fit Studios. Attention, seniors. If you have not yet purchased your grad night ticket, do it before April 1st. You can get a form from Ms. Acosta in the front office. If you're over 16 by April 3rd, you can participate in this year's blood drive. You can pick up your forms at lunch every day in the front office. Hey students, would you rather fight a shark or a bear? Our very own Pablo attempts to find the answers to this important debate. Here with Haley, and would you rather fight a shark or a bear? I would rather fight a bear. Why? Because it's easier than swimming away from a shark. And would you rather fight a shark or a bear? Um, I'd rather fight a bear. Because? Because you can play dead and it won't. You? <laughs> Here with Papa Noda, and would you rather travel to the future or the past? Uh, I would easily travel to the past. And why? I would maybe look into changing the outcome of World War II. With Ethan and Sean, and would you rather travel to the future or the past? You go. Uh, I'd rather travel to the future because like, I'm trying to see what I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm trying to see what I look like. Did you feel me? Yeah. Hey teachers and students, this is a reminder that Crayola has a wonderful program to recycle dry erase and magic markers. There is a box in the lunchroom to store and return old dried out markers. Have you ordered your yearbook yet? If not, hurry. The price goes up from $75 to $90 on Monday, April 1st, and that's no fooling. The Half Moon Bay Triathlon will take place on Sunday, May 5th at Johnson's Pier. Students are needed to volunteer for community service or to raise funds for their service club. Please see Mr. Barnes if you're interested. Aviation Club has been cleared to take off for a club meeting this Wednesday. The runway is prepared for landing in K-14 in Mr. Reardon's room. Be there or you will be grounded. The next Poetry Club meeting is today at lunch in room A-6, Mr. Westwood's room. Now here's Preston with the sports. The varsity co-ed swim team defeated El Camino. Eve Kearns won the 200 IM in a time of 222.6. Grace Anderson swam the 100 fly in an impressive time of 102.2. Osmond Roy had a great 100 butterfly, coming in second with a 125.3. And Mason Lyatt had a great 200 free and 214.5. Great job, Cougars. The varsity baseball team came up short over the weekend against Los Altos, losing 6 to 4 in 11 innings. The Cougars came from behind to tie the game early when Peter Papil smoked a triple to right to score two runners and tie the game at two. In extra innings, Casilda Guevara made multiple diving catches in center field to keep Los Altos from scoring. Unfortunately, HMB could not get the big hit, and Los Altos scored two in the 11th inning to win it. The Cougars are now 8 and 3 overall. The JV edged Los Altos 5 to 4. David Nieves started the game for Half and Bay and allowed 11 hits and 4 runs over 5 and 2 thirds innings. Striking out 4 and walking 0, Victor Castro was credited with the victory in relief. He went 1 and 1 third innings, allowing 0 runs on 0 hits, striking out 3 and walking 0. The JV is now 7 and 1 overall. Here's Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia. For your fourth period classes out there, the answer to Friday's question was Logan Batista. He makes an occasional uh, cameo appearance here in our newscast. Congratulations to Mr. Naple and his fourth period class. They were the fastest to answer. Now, today we have a question sent in from Mr. Barnes, and the category is buildings and structures on our campus. Watch your email for the question from me and have a marvelous Monday.